All right, everyone, Cowboy Trades here. Welcome back to the channel for a quick update on Solana. Now, yesterday we made a video, Solana bull market or bull trap, and we talked about the possibility of Solana pushing up to $15 or just beneath $15 while these oscillators have a little bit more room to head up to the upside. And it looks like these oscillators are now telling us that it is time to break back down to the downside. I'm going to speed run through this analysis. A lot of you have been asking me for uh, outside of my longer TA videos for quick daily updates. So let's just dive into this chart very quickly now we've talked about we how we've pushed up in the past day or so we talked about this vpvr level that we were magnetized to round about 15 dollars and 50 cent and you can see since we've come up to this level it seems like we're getting stuck now on the higher time frames we've also talked about zooming out this being a big volume cluster if we remove all of this data just very very quickly you can see how the price action literally fell like a rocket through these volume profiles as there was not much data traded what do we do after this we broke down to eight dollars which was one of our macro price targets vitalik tweeted support and we had a big bounce where do we get a bounce to well in the lower time frames we came up to this volume profile and in the higher time frames we grabbed liquidity from this volume profile heading back over to the lower time frames because we've already done quite a lot of uh, extensive analysis in the higher time frames it looks like solana is getting stuck and also something I haven't talked about before, if you all remember this uh, bearish pennant that we previously talked about that we did started to break to the downside of or that we did start to break to the downside of, uh, you can see if we do extrapolate out this heart line of the bearish pennant, we came up and got a beautiful rejection from it at around about $14.20 today. So how have the oscillators fared while we've been pushing up for the past day or so? And of course, like we talked about yesterday, tiny bit more room to push up. And we did have a little bit more of a push to the upside after that video was released. And here's how the oscillators fared now squeeze momentum indicator at this moment in time is once again ticking into light green this is very very bearish the last few times this has happened especially on this uh, switch over on the squeeze momentum indicator we had a huge huge run to the downside this means that basically all of the bearish momentum has been completely reset and we're technically in bullish territory which means if we break back down to bearish territory we've got a lot of room to move to the downside let's look at the stochastic rsi and zoom into the price action now you can see stochastic RSI, the blue moving average actually pushed up to 100. When was the last time that this happened? It happened right here. What happened? Price was at $15 and went down to $8. What happened the time before that? We were at around about $14.38 and broke down to $12.76. But this was just because we were breaking down, bouncing back up, and forming a double top over on the squeeze momentum indicator. If we're looking at the macro downtrends for the squeeze momentum indicator, you can see one right here topped out at $34. We broke down once again, had a bounce up very similar to this situation, and we had not a double top, but basically a double, uh, kind of like a double top formation at 85 on the squeeze momentum indicator. This correlated to Solana being at $37 and we absolutely rushed all the way down to $11. You can look at previous times as well where this has played out. Like I said, just really wanted to give you a quick TA update. Uh, if you do like these quicker updates, let me know down below and I'll consider posting more of these in the future. These won't be substituting from the higher time frame analysis because obviously when we do come down to you know macro price targets like $5 and $4.50, we will create higher time frame videos that last a little bit longer because we do need to reanalyze the market and look at a lot of different things. But just a quick update today. TA not looking good. TA looks like it's topping out. Uh, over on the MFI as well, very important. We've been talking about liquidity conditions and, and how we could potentially push up to maybe as high as 72. But MFI right now is showing extreme weakness. And if we're drawing Let's see if this is a new downtrend. This looks like a new downtrend in the lower time frames that's been in place since the 5th of November when we topped out at $39. It looks like liquidity conditions are really ready to head down. We're absolutely overextended right now at 64 in a bear market. This is a telltale sign that we should be breaking down very, very soon. And also, uh, I've also just recorded two videos talking about the higher time frames for both Bitcoin and the S&P 500. So I think a lot of people who are bullish after this bounce need to kind of zoom out when in doubt zoom out head over to the monthly time frame switch over to the high Kanashis, and you can see Iconarchies on the monthly time frame have been in a brutal downtrend for the past 396 days a lot of people tell you the best way to navigate bear markets is to buy the dip buy the dip buy the dip buy the dip and to buy the dip but these people who bought the dip even if you bought the exact bottom down here you're you know you know you're 85 percent down if you bought the exact bottom down here you're 69 percent down if you bought the exact bottom here you are 54 percent down 
if you bought the exact bottom over here. You know, you're maybe 7% up, and if you bought the exact bottom here, you're about 47% up, of course, on the Heiken Arshi candle. So, you know, in general, if you're DCAing every dip, you are absolutely asking to be slaughtered in these markets. And if you disagree with me, I guarantee you, you were not here in 2017 because my trading plan was to DCA altcoins at every single dip, and I got absolutely slaughtered. This is not the right way to navigate the markets. Look at the higher time frames. You can very clearly identify when the trend is ready to switch over on the monthly time frame. I mean, sure, you wouldn't have bought the exact bottom down here at one dollars in December of 2020, but if you were patient and waited for Heiken Arshis to turn green, you could have bought at 250. You know, big deal. You missed the first 2.5x. But what happened after here? Uh, I think trading view is a little bit laggy today, so I do apologize. Uh, you know, you still would have been up 9,500, probably about 10,000. Yeah, just over 10,000%. So once again, a lot of people tell you the best way to navigate these markets is to buy every dip. That is absolute nonsense. If anyone is telling you that, they are either being a sensationalist or they were not here in 2017. I can guarantee you that. Uh, because I was here in 2017. That was my trading strategy, and it was a terrible trading strategy. You can also see... While on the weekly time frame we've been in an absolute slaughter fest, we do have a slight green candle right now on the Heiken Arshis, but it is a doji candle signaling indecision in the markets. You know, we saw a doji candle over here, and we saw, you know, this was pretty much a doji candle as well, even though it does have a big wick up to the upside. But the last time we saw this indecision, we can just continue to break down. We saw doji candle here, green indecision, we continue to break down. Over here, we actually saw a doji candle and continue to push up before rugging back down to the downside. But in general, green doji candles after a small uptrend show very they show indecision in the markets and this is what i believe we have at this moment in time solana is very overextended in terms of the technicals on the higher time frames we're still an absolute meltdown and i see no reason to rush into a dca in the immediate short term and liquidity conditions are just so so overextended like i said just a quick update much shorter than my normal in-depth ta let me know if you like these and if you want more of these lower time frame videos when the time is right uh but anyway that's all i've got for you for this video if you do appreciate the content let me know down below by leaving a like and a comment share the videos with your friends and if you do want more data while i am away from the markets be sure to head over to my twitter at 618 underscore cowboy be sure to join the discord if you click on the about section you can see my twitter discord instagram and merch is all linked down below and it's in the description of all my videos so hope to see you over there all i've got for you today it's been your boy cowboy trades i'm out peace